Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass here, and welcome to True Floop, which is a surreal horror game where you decide to go outside to look for your wife, and things start to get really weird. Shit, I'm late to pick up Madison. She left to work one hour ago. Boy, well, my, uh, place looks depressing. Let's look around before we exit out the door, see what we're dealing with. I guess you had, like, a glass between you and the kitchen for some reason? Door. Locked. This one's open. Hi. Check around this corner real quick. Wrong way. I guess we're going this way then. You have a good day there, officer. I promise I'll pick her up on time. It's dangerous to go back alone. Take this. What you looking at, huh? What you looking at? Yeah, that's right. Keep on driving. Hey, look, a person. I hope you're well, my love. I promise not to delay anymore. You okay? Kind of zoning out there? Hmm, there's different camera styles? PlayStation. PlayStation 2. Ah! 1995. Horror. VHS. Yeah, let's not do that one. In my opinion, I feel like the, the horror filter is the best one. Uh, the no filter, the PS2 style one, is like too clean. And then... The PlayStation one is like too dirty. I, I, it's very hard for me to tell like what I'm looking at. But this one's like it's like you know uh, the goalie lock. Like this one's just right. Do I go this? Nope, wrong way. Are you the guy I saw earlier? Sorry, I'm late, my love. Let's go. Are you my what? My wife? Um, there's a lot of garbage in our apartment now. Shut. I'm late to pick up Madison from work. A lot of garbage. Oh, an umbrella. Sure. It's probably gonna rain anyways. Yep, I was right. I guess I'll just sing in the rain. If I would, if I wouldn't get copyright struck by YouTube. You have a good day there, officer. Where are you running? You're running from the car? What's wrong with you?
All you would do is just stand here and look up. What are you so happy about? I don't see anything of note that you'd be happy about. I'm sorry, my love. I always hesitate with you. This rain's really coming down. So last time something went down, we were over here. We walked up to her, she turned her head around, something weird was coming out of her mouth. Madison? Something happened. Don't do the weird scary thing. Well, the garbage is still here. Now there's blood on the wall. Shut. I'm really late. Madison's been out of work for over an hour. Maybe we were late to pick her up one day. And, like, something happened to her, so we, we feel guilty. No umbrella. There is a fog that is... It's... It's really kicking in. Yeah, this fog is blowing. And my vision's glitching out. You have a good day there, meat officer. What you looking at, meat car? Yeah, that's right, keep on walking. Are you so happy about meat person? We're all meat in the end. I'm a piece of shit. I can't keep my promises. Yeah, I'm still speculating, like something happened to her. So the bottles and the, the, the garbage is uh you know, we're we're in grief. We're we've kinda let our like life go. Walking in the middle of the street. Because that's what I do. So time we get to the wife, something happens. I don't like the thing in the mouth. You took so long. It's kind of weird. I'm glad I'm not getting a closer look at it. There's more meat on the wall? Shit. I need to pick up Madison from work. It's already midnight. Umbrella again. I guess it's gonna rain. It's gonna rain blood. Yeah. Uh, cloudy with a chance of blood storm. Let's go look over here. Wrong way. I'm singing in the blood. You have a good day there, meat officer. Hey, what you looking at? Huh? Yeah, that's right, keep walking. Hope you're well, my love. What are you so happy about, meat person? What are you looking at? Meat? We're all meat in the end. Everything is meat. Well, I'm glad I brought my umbrella today. Vision glitched out. Something changed in the, uh, dimension. Wife, are you gonna, like, jump scare me? Yeah, see? Before I get close, because if I get close, that's gonna cut the screen out. Her eyes and mouth look really weird and disturbing. Let's see if I can... Get closer to look before she disappears and the, the dimension resets. 
What? That is a giant wife? Wife! Ah. Oh, thank God it's clean. Shit, Madison's gonna be mad at me. I'm too late to pick her up from work. No umbrella. Yeah. Let's go get her. Now I'm curious what went down here. It's already midnight. I hope she's okay. We'll see if my theory is correct. Because I don't think we did something to her. I feel like we were late to pick her up. Something happened. I'm trash. She deserves someone better. Eh, don't do that to yourself. Doesn't help anybody. What are you so happy about? Stop smiling. I swear I'll never drink again. Oh, so we do have a drinking problem. I notice that we did not see the cop or the other car drive by. It's a little curious. It's always been there to every dimension we've been through. She... She's being held up! Hey! Madison, please do, don't shoot! Oh, it's a four-man number. Four? I, mean, I, I could just be seeing things. It could just be random me. Shit, I hesitate. Madison must have been waiting for me for over an hour. Close, no umbrella, let's go. Vision glitching out already. Madison left work at one o'clock, hope she's okay. Um, the cop is still a meat car. You have a good day there, meat. Yep. Meat cars and meat people. When they said I need to get out and meet people more, they didn't think they mean this. Yeah, yeah. You laugh at my joke. If something happens to her, I will never forgive myself. I don't think you did. The state of your apartment kind of, like, showed that. Oh, she's gone. That's probably where the cop car, like... Where am I? tunnel. The cop car is probably racing from the scene. Or racing to the scene, ever. Maybe the person right down the street is the, um... The person who shot her. So we were drinking. We drank. We slept in. Ah! Clean again. Nope, never mind. Won't you pick me up from work, my love? <laughs> that face is weird. It's a simple model, but it's weird. So that's it for Truth Loop. So we went over most of the story as we played. Um, basically our character is kind of wasting away, they're drinking in their apartment, hence the loop factor as I'm going over the memory. 
and also partially because they blame themselves because of their drinking, whether they were actually an alcoholic or not. Either way, they drank, they slept in a little bit, they weren't able to pick up their wife in time from work, they were like an hour late. They were about an hour late, and that was all that was took for some criminal to try to mug her, and then he shot her and ran, and the cops chased after him. So now we're stuck constantly visualizing that day in a PS1 style horror game. And it wasn't that bad, you know, of a little indie horror game. It felt very indie horror game-ish, if you know what I mean, as far as that archetype of like, kind of like how these games are directed and paced. But I can't necessarily find anything to say really complain about, or I would change about it. Because it is what it is, right? And it's just, it's like a 10 minute, 12 minute kind of horror game. You got your little like weird things going on, you got your little like scary things, and you got your like, here's your story twist. Uh, and I'll give him credit that the, the weird wife, meathead, spider, giant thing is pretty weird looking. In a good way. I actually like that monster. Anyway. So if we go off and watch you play Drew Flute, I'll see you guys later, and take it easy.